it there? Sir, we forget to record it. Is it the answer? <laughs> sir, I have already recorded, sir. You recorded it? Recorded, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Recorded, sir. I appreciate. I appreciate. Yes. You edit it and you make it out, then you send to me. The okay, okay, sir. I, I send you mine, YouTube links. Sir. Every person, because that will be a, a booster dose. It is a, a good thing to the other people to learn okay. the things what I said. And okay. people will get motivated also, those who could not get the chance to be online. Principal, madam, and the management uh, sir, members, very nice. the IT and people, I am very much indebted to you. Yes, now you can say a switch out to the principal, madam. Thank you, sir. Uh, it is very great pleasure for our university, sir, to have such a wonderful person like you. And uh, the words which I really admire is, sir, the principal goal is not repeating whatever already thought, but bringing out innovative ideas and your humble speech, your uh, valuable uh, suggestions for education. It's very nice, sir. And our students, as the budding students, they learn very much from your speech. And I'm very indebted to you and uh, Srilata Ma, who is my close friend, while I'm working at Savita School of Law. She was a professor at that time, and I'm working as associate professor. Such a wonderful person, sir. And uh, she has also given a wonderful and humble person like you to deliver a special lecture. And we are really very much admired about your lecture, sir. And thank you so much on behalf of our institution, our director, our chairman, and our uh, vice principal, all faculty members, and also our students. Without their support, we cannot run our program in such a way, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Inshallah, we'll bless you in all your endeavors, sir. And I wish the Almighty to bring you all success, a good health, everything, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Asante you for spending your valuable time here. News. Thank you very much. Asante sana, na shukru sana. Mungu wako barikera kukilinda. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Now. Uh, now. Yes, I will join again. Now. Okay, so I'll see it. So now uh, it's time for me to call upon our Professor Ma with great pleasure, Dr. N. Kyle Willi Ma, Principal, Patare Parambatur, Law College, Chennai, Tiruvallur. And it is a great pleasure for me to invite her. So it's a great pleasure for me to invite Dr. Kyle William. <laughs> So, Professor Kyle Winnie was a dynamic educationalist, eminent scholar with heartbreaking contribution towards promotion of legal education as a whole. And he has specific domain over international and constitutional law, and he has the ability to transform the minds of young students and scholars across the globe. So, now, she was designated as principal, firstly, in Government Law College, Bhripuram, and she is a specialized person in international law, constitutional, and environmental law. Her areas of interest are research methodology, international law, constitutional law, and interpretation and information technology laws. And her research was under the topic Judicial Activism of the Supreme Court in Environmental Jurisprudence. Uh, Ma'am has a vast, wide experience in profession, total period of 24 years of academic and administrative experience. She has the experience of administration itself for a period of around four years. She has also, she has also worked as Associate Professor in Dr. Ambedkar Government Law College, 
and her uh, academic experience start from the year 1997 so ma'am has a vast experience for about 25 years in teaching and as well as she has academic experience she has published various articles in various reputed journals and she hold the responsibility and membership of various uh, academic related activities such as member of board of studies in university of madras and she was an ex officio senate member she was elected unopposed unanimously as syndicate member for representing teachers of tamil nadu with effect from 2019 she was a member of international union of Con conservation of nature iucn from 2018 she was also a senate member of tamil nadu law university representing government law college belu from 2010 she was also ad assisted for law university as expert member in framing the tax law syllabus for llb course she was also an editor in the new letters of director of legal studies she was an associate editor for journal of department of legal studies she was a member of doctrinal committee of srm she was a member of pg board of studies she was a member of syndicate and senate of tamil nadu tndalu she submitted a tamil manuscript on human rights on behalf of law university she was also serving as a website coordinator for director of legal studies and she recently participated as an expert committee member of tamil nadu state council for higher education she was also a syndicate member of tamil nadu dr ambedkar law university representing teachers community and she was an international convener of three virtual international conferences and ma'am has high knowledge and experience in various uh, things and she has conducted various lectures and she has conducted seminars and conferences she has delivered various special lectures she has delivered uh, various uh, special lectures as a resource person and uh, it is very delightful for me and it is a great pleasure and privilege for our institution to have such a person like dr kailvili ma'am and we welcome you ma'am on behalf of our uh, uh, institution chairman director and special officer and on all behalf of all our faculty members and also our students ma'am thank you so much ma'am uh, and uh, it is honor for me to welcome you ma'am kindly give your valuable speech and you enlighten our students with your knowledge ma'am and we are grateful and thankful for the same ma'am thank you ma'am yes. ma'am on the line am i audible am i yes, audible ma'am yeah. yes ma'am uh, at the outset i would like to place my sincere uh, uh, wishes and congratulations say to the gtn law college uh, so uh, you made a very good beginning and also appreciate lion dr k ratnam the secretary and correspondent and also dr r durai the director and also my beloved friend uh, say anger kanni dr anger kanni and uh, i also appreciate the presentation made by my former speaker tir mohammed saheb hussain giving a quite brief about uh, the education system in india now it gives me a great pleasure uh, to be part of this uh, uh, say Uh, program and uh, deliberate my thoughts say on legal education in technological era legal education is old century uh, old uh, more than 135 years past looking into what it had started and what it is now there is a uh, a paradigm shift say uh, that uh, we are facing in the legal education the basis of legal education is that uh, uh, we serve four masters say notably the bar council of india and here in tamil nadu the state bar council the university grants commission <coughs> say our affiliated law university as far as uh, the college i come from 
Dr. Ambedkar, Government Law College. Now we are shifted to Patrai Parambadu, and therefore it is Chennai, Dr. Ambedkar, Government Law College, Patrai Parambadu. There is, uh, uh, like we are affiliated to the Tamil Nadu Dr. Ambedkar Law University, the only university, say the first of its kind, right, where government of Tamil Nadu had established this. Way back in 1997, and also another main uh, department, which is under direct control and supervision, is that Directorate of Legal Studies that comes within the purview of, say, the government of Tamil Nadu. Until 2016, like uh, there was a strict uh, uh, restriction that uh, entry of uh, private law colleges uh, were restricted, but based on the directions of the Supreme Court, right, the restriction to entry of private law colleges have been lifted. And uh, that has today led to, say, mushrooming of, say, the private law colleges. And uh, many deemed universities have also come into existence in Tamil Nadu. I would like to appreciate GTN College of Law for its uh, innovativeness. Uh, to start with, it has been, uh, I think it is uh, this last semester which they should have commenced the uh, entity as such. But within a quick span of time, they have come up like with a program such as these. And uh, the very basis of our uh, ed legal education system is that, say, the power vests under the Advocates Act of 1961, where the Bar Council, say, is responsible, say, for maintenance of quality of legal education, right? And also, Right. See, in 1973, uh, when the Advocates Act was in existence, until 1973, we didn't have any uh, provision relating to legal education. It was all added, say, by way of uh, amendment in 1973, which gave provisions, which made rules, right, to prescribe, say, minimum qualifications required for admission to a course of degree in law. And uh, it was possible, say, by inserting subsection A to section 49 of the Act. And also another provision, section 7 clause B, and one of the Act of Bar Council of India, which had authorized, say, to promote legal education and to lay down standards of such education and in consultation with, say, the respective Bar Council, respective the university, and also the directorate, right? Where such entities are established in Tamil Nadu. However, the point that needs to be underlined and noted is that, though the Advocates Act 1961 uh, has come into existence, the Advocates Act does not cover, say, the standards of legal education and the entire act was only referred in three sections, namely section six, section seven, and section 49, which touch upon the legal education. Adding to that, we have legal education rules of 2008 and subsequently 2016, so on and so forth. And yet another entity that really guides us is uh, the University Grants Commission, where under entry 